you. Now, how are we meant to get anyone's attention amongst all this tumult? It appears no one hears you, Ironheart. Ah, I have an idea. Have you ever laid eyes on a sheer cat before? <laughs> a great tiger like that may have been a better match for the Oka earlier. I should have thought of... Oh, someone just came out from the medical tent. There! That sounded remarkably close. Pardon me. Hmm? Oh, you need help. Let's get you in here and have a look, shall we? Why is everyone looking at you both? Have a seat on this bench, young lady. I am called Vidori. And you are? I'm Doja. And this is Ironheart. Ironheart? That's a rather unusual name. That's because it was I who chose it for them. I see. And will you also be doing all the talking for them? Uh... No, I don't believe so. How very munificent of you. Now, where are you hurt? Right here, on my leg. Bring it up onto the bench and I'll have a look at it. Tell me how it happened. Well, not you. You, silent person. There's absolutely no external damage. <laughs> ah, ambushed on the way here? I suppose I should feel for internal injury. Hmm. What's that? You had only just arrived on the front lines for the first time? <laughs> Perhaps you should be more careful. <laughs> Do you mean to make a fool of me? You play the role of innocent quite convincingly. Tch. You do realize we're in the midst of a war. This woman is not injured in the slightest. I cannot be wasting my time on you when I have those waiting who require actual... <gasps> what? She transformed. She is... She must be... But I was led to believe the Suscarain were only myth. Yes, yes, of course. My apologies. I will resume my work. I can see the wound clearly now. I will have many questions for you once you can speak with human lips again. Now. Try and relax. I am a little bit out of practice, but I'll do the best I can. Oh, there's no danger of harm coming to her. And besides, ever since I returned, I've been training under you, Selina, in Embassy of Ohem on the Isle of Mohiai. 
she has aided me in my return to the practices of simancy. Surely I have no need to explain why asking for what reason I left the battlefront might be construed as impolite. Hmm. I'm certain you didn't mean anything by it. <sighs> I only reacted so defensively because I am ashamed. For I fled from the war effort in terror. Oh, you are absolutely correct. I chose to come here in the first place to aid in the conflict. I hail from the north of Ervilmas, where the Okar Wars have had no real impact on humanity, and my kingdom is not a member of the League of the Jade Hornets. My sisters believed we could do good for the people under assault from a great and new threat. Initially, I tried to dissuade them, but they reassured me that we would occupy ourselves with using our training to heal the wounded, keeping apart from the dangers of open warfare. I agreed to join them. I wanted to ensure their safety, as much as my own. Hmm. About twenty years ago, the Vinlis set sail from Ohem and discovered the holdouts in South Navisha left over from the cleansing. Rescue expeditions were subsequently mounted bound for the hazardous and narrow coastline left to the Nevisian remnant. As I am sure you are aware, the waters of the Sea of Blood fall otherwise entirely under the jurisdiction of the Okar Empire of Owaina. My sisters, both the younger and the older, became more and more involved in open combat as time went on in spite of my vocal protestation. Raitika, especially. She was the youngest of us. When she found out there were people clinging to hope, deep behind enemy lines, she found herself unable to resist the urge to take on the waves in search of those needing deliverance. She was eventually allowed a position in the third rescue expedition. Disastrous? You could say that. Dear Raitika, impetuous, headstrong Raitika, she fell at the hands of the Okar. One of the few survivors relayed to me the story of her final act as she ushered one of the victims into the only remaining boat just before... before... Excuse me. You? You're the sole survivor of the fourth expedition? I had heard the fourth went even more dismally than the third. The Okar were more than prepared for rescue attempts by the time the fourth effort was underway. When I considered how the Okar were willing to take the life of one so young, I became afraid of their indiscriminate rage. My elder sister, Potre, continued her service, but I... I fled north to take shelter in Viteria. 
At the least, I needed time to grapple with what happened. I thank you for your sympathies. Although I feel I have redeemed myself to an extent in returning, I'm still shamefully terrified of those loathsome lizards. I sense that the outcome of this war balances on a knife's edge. If drastic action is not taken, I wish somehow I could get into their heads, turn that fear and pain back on them, paralyze them somehow, like, like that sheer cat's roar did to, by the gods, that was you, wasn't it? Doja was the sheer cat. <laughs> That's one way to get attention. Well, young lady, that's about as much as I can do for you. While there should be no more serious pain, I was only able to make the slightest headway with respects to actually healing the wound. Doja's unique makeup presents issues that have hindered my ability to mend the damage fully. I am ever so sorry. There is still a small degree of discomfort, but I can certainly stand and walk on my own. Thank you, Vidori. There's no need. This is my job. However, I feel obliged to do yet more for you. This was the first time I have really made use of my skills since my return. I can feel that doing so has set me on a path toward putting my fears behind me. I see. But you still need healing. But how is that to be done, since you have said you do not know how? I've not the skills to do so myself, but I believe I made mention that I have been mentored by one of the Guard Fae since my arrival. Yuselina is a masterful healer. She will most certainly possess the power and skill to overcome the unique hurdles your constitution sets forth. Yes, Ironheart, we must make our way to Embassave Ohem, since that is where Yuselina practices. And since Doja's health is of utmost importance, we will travel by means of Arcana Craft. <gasps> Arcana Craft? You mean to say we will travel in a vessel which sails across the land, powered by Arcanum Crystals? I... yes. Is that acceptable? Oh, yes, yes! Let's go this instant! Come on, Ironheart! My goodness, do you want to go and tell her that the Anchorage plot is to be found in the opposite direction, or shall I? <laughs> <laughs> 